Hello and welcome to the Dragon Hold PTS. I am so excited, I've been waiting all day for this. So we're gonna go look at the new houses. I'm so excited. I honestly just cannot even express to you. So we're gonna go to Lucky Cat Landing first of all. So let's go for it. I've literally woke up so early this morning, took the day off and everything to see these houses and it's like 10 o'clock at night for me now. I'm very excited. Lucky Cat. By some miracle or simple chance, Lucky Cat Landing weathered the fires that ravaged Southern Elsewhere, completely unsinged. Its spacious terrace frames a gorgeous view, and its proximity to Central makes it convenient for those who enjoy city living. Very nice. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Ever since we saw the live stream the other day, I've just been so excited to see these houses, and particularly this one. So hopefully we can purchase them on the PTS, so we can have a look at the item limits and all of that stuff as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is purchase it, which we can. We're going to buy it unfurnished, so that we can have a look at it in its nice empty state. I'll be uploading the furnishings after I've uploaded the houses. So we can have a look at those, the new furnishings, which is also just incredibly exciting. Okay, so here we are in, let me show you where the house is there. So Lucky Cat Landing is here in Central. Um, so here we are. I guess you come into the courtyard, which is nice. I guess that's one thing about Eleanor um, that was kind of a negative, is that the courtyard was like quite far into the house. It's nice that you come into the courtyard. Really pretty house, very elsewhere-ish again, but a bit more of a kind of dishevelled look to it. This looks like a way shrine here, doesn't it? If only it were. We've got a really nice view out here. We've got the sea view as well, which is really nice. These fountains. I'm going to turn on um, this housing editor just so we can see. So you can remove these lights. This is here to stay, but this is quite cool. It just looks like a way shrine to me. Nice view of the beach down there. nice shrine that looks like it's not removable but that's fine looks nice I really do like the view okay I wonder if these lights are removable yep so you can remove those I'll just remove them to show you <laughs> so yeah we don't have to have those there that's nice I'm just removing these to have a good look at the fountains so it would be great if these were purchasable, but they do kind of look like the elsewhere fountains we already have. They're just kind of sunk into the wall, which is actually a great idea. We've got some nice sort of like areas to put our plants. Very nice. Okay, let's go inside. Ooh, so excited. Okay. I just love the dishevelled look. I love how it looks a bit more scruffy, it makes it look more realistic and it just makes it kind of have a lot of character, which I really like, we've got two ways to go. So the stairs are through here, so we'll go this way. There's a porch there, we'll look at that in a minute. So we've got nice small rooms, the ceilings are really nice, nice and beamed. Really like the wall, I mean I'm not quite sure about the mould on the wall. I mean, that might be get, taking it a bit far when it comes to being dishevelled, as you can see. There is literal mould on the wall. Um, <laughs> but you could cover the walls up. I like the doorways. We'll have a little look at the porch. I like it's like a little maze, all these little twisty turny corridors, which I really love. This is the porch. Again, a nice view of a burned down the house over there. In fact, yeah, all of those buildings pretty much are destroyed. That's fine. It's kind of cool. I quite like it. It's definitely different. I mean, we've got a bunch of elsewhere houses now, particularly if they bring out the uh, 
I can't think of the name right now, but I'm sure you know which one I mean. If they bring that one out, the one that they cancelled, it's such a perfectly pristine house. And so are the others. I like that this is different. Oh, look at these windows. Imagine if we can buy these. Guys, if we could buy these windows here, I will die. <laughs> look at them. They're so cool. Oh. oh, I love the roof. Look. Very nice shape. Love that. And then we've got another room here. So it's not huge. Let's see what the item limit is. No. No. I've got ESA Plus. Is that showing up? It looks like my ESA Plus isn't showing up, maybe? I don't know. Where did it tell you? Because usually it comes up here, doesn't it? I have got ESO Plus, maybe it's not showing, so I'm guessing it's 400, but still. That's weird. We'll have to, um, I'll talk to some people about that in a bit and see if their ESO Plus is showing up on PTS, because it looks like that might be an ESO Plus issue, but still, that means this house is 400 items. So, that's not great. We don't like that that's 400 items at all. I was thinking it was going to say 6. Um, because this garden area is not small. I mean, I guess it's not a huge house in there, but when you look at the other houses that are 400, I feel like because we're asking for medium houses, they're like, great, okay, we'll give them the house that's 400 items, and then that's going to be um, considered medium. I mean, no, this is way bigger than a medium home. I mean, consider this is the same as Grim, Hearts and Clichéd. What the hell? Okay. But I do love it. I love the walls. I think they need to reconsider the item limit there. Definitely. Especially if it's 200, which can't be true. I think there must be a bug that's making the ESO um, Plus not show up on PTS or something. Which is going to make decorating these fun. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to travel now to the next house, so I'll see you for the next video. Goodbye.